Rent. Previously on our channel, we showed you how to install a front mudguard in preparation for autumn. Today, we're going to take you through installing a rear mudguard. This is my summer setup, Brompton. It's currently an E type, which means he has no mudguard and no rack. I'm going to turn him into an L type, which means he has a mudguard but no rack. So, the tools required to fit the rear mudguard a 2.5mm Allen key, a 7, 8, 10, and 15mm spanner. This is the rear mudguard. It comes in black, white, and silver, with silver being the standard. This is the black version that's also used on black editions. It comes pre-installed with the flap. The attachment point here fits behind the rear brake. For bicycles with a rack, there's a second attachment point further back. The mudguards for Brompton bicycles with racks have two attachment points. One's here, and the second uses the brake. To fit the mudguard, I'm going to need a mudguard stay kit. This has the mudguard stays, the mudguard stay anchor plate, a silver roller wheel, and an anchor plate for the roller wheel. However, I'm going to install the black roller wheel that came on my black edition bicycle. Before we go through how to install the rear mudguard, we're going to remove the rear wheel. Now I've removed the rear wheel, I'm going to install the mudguard stays. They have a short, a medium and a long stay. The short one goes on the inside and should fit towards the front of the bicycle. The medium one comes next and then the long one. These get affixed to the rear axle plate. So, the short mudguard stay goes on the inside, followed by the medium one, followed by the longer one. The bolt and washer go on the inside of the axle plate, and on the outside we have the second washer, followed by the nylock nut. We're just going to do our finger type for now. Next, I'm going to install the mudguard. <laughs> to do that, I need to remove the rear brake caliper. I need a 10mm spanner. To remove the rear brake caliper, we need to undo here. Mind your fingers. You want to try and keep the bits in the same order so that it makes it a bit easier to install. Next, we're going to remove the brake caliper. Take out the concave washer. Slide the mud glass in place. Pop the brake caliper through the mud guard. Put the concave washer onto the brake caliper and put it through the frame. Now we're going to finish reassembling the rear brake. Concave washer, followed by the light bracket. Then the spring washer. Followed by the washer. followed by the lower stop disc. This disc is what locks the seat post in place when the bike is folded. We'll make a video on that another time. First, we're going to install the short mudguard stay. This is the front one. We're going to install it or attach it using the mudguard stay anchor plate. It's the same mudguard stay anchor plate as used on the front mudguard. The mudguard stay anchor plate has two small bolts, a flat plate and a plate with a curve in it to accommodate the mudguard stay. The curved plate goes underneath to hold the mudguard stay in place. You then just need to line up the two holes with the two holes on the mudguard plate 
and then pop the flat plate on the top. With your third hand, <laughs> you need to screw the bolts in. These then done up with a 2.5mm Allen key. Next, I'm going to install the other two mudguard stays, the medium and the long one, and my roller wheel. The roller wheel mudguard stay anchor plate has two curves, one for each of the mudguard stays. Next, we're going to fit the medium and long mudguard stays. These are held in place using the roller wheel. It makes it much easier to get the bolt through if the holes are lined up. It's really important to put the bolt through from the top and the nut goes on the underside. I've just got that one finger toe and we'll put the other one in. It's a bit fiddly to get everything lined up because they're small little nuts. Then we'll put the nut on the other side. Another finger tight. We're just going to tighten them a little bit more using an Allen key and a 7mm spanner. The mudguard stays need to be done onto the rear axle plate using two 8mm spanners. Next, I'm going to fit my autumn tyre with my mudguard. Now, I just want to check that my brake calipers are not rubbing on my rims. And my mudguard isn't interfering with my tyre. Lastly, I'm going to do up the nut at the back of the caliper. Since we installed our mudguards, we've been waiting for a rainy day so we can go out and test them. And it's finally here! I got wet, but my bottom didn't. Thank you, Brompton Mudguards. If you want to see how to install a front mudguard, click here. If there's any Brompton topics you'd like us to record, please comment below. And the second thing I'm going to do is go and clean my hands. Next, we're going to fit the long and medium length mudguard stay. Now we're ready to ride and we shouldn't get muddy bottoms. And I've still got white trousers.